have a very special guest in here for y'all today, my man Ryan Broyles. Norman Legend. Man, homegrown. <laughs> First of all, my man is All-American 2010 and 2011. First team all Big 12, 2010, 2011. Second NCAA in career receiving Mr. At, three, <laughs> at 349 and second NCAA career reception yards at 4,586. Legend. What was your nickname? I know they had to have given you a nickname. Hands. <laughs> you know how Kawhi got the claw of my man? Well, was, I did. You was the first claw. They just called me Broyles, man. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she on. always you open. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you, had, yeah. you had to have a nickname. I've heard all kind of random stuff. I remember right, Mac Brown was saying, like, he called me like butter because I was smooth. <laughs> I was smooth <laughs> like butter. Like, all Ooh, right, yeah. I like that. Just get smooth open, like man. Butter. Yeah, yeah. This quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I know which way you're leaning, but which which sport was your first love? <laughs> which way where am I leaning? I feel like you're gonna lean towards football. You got to. And you know, I did Hershey's track meet probably until about sixth grade, so we're just athletes, man. In the fire for we were in it, oh, man. We were. It, it's crazy because like, like you never we had a summer. We weren't bred. We weren't bred like the kids are today, where you're doing camp after camp after camp. It wow. was just like, okay, you're playing Going this work. season, you're playing this, you're playing this. It was ne It was never. Play this season, go with this trainer. Play this season, mm -hmm. go with this trainer. It was there because I'm from Sacramento. We oh, played they don't flag in middle in middle school. school. Whoa. Either you play, whoa, you way you behind. For the pop, either you play for the Pop Warner team all the way until freshman year of high school. Yeah, or you weren't playing no tackle. So like Pop wow. Warner was more of great. Like I always played quarterback, right? And then I had a coach in sixth grade. He was like, Hey Ryan, like if you're if, like you can make it to the NFL. Like he literally told me, you can make it to the NFL if you move to receiver. And I moved to sixth grade. Yeah, sixth grade. Well, yeah. And then I, I went to the league at receiver. Right. Yo. <laughs> yeah. What was that coach's name? Scott Hecox, man. He was actually like Shout adopted out, father coach of mine. Hecox. Yeah. He's he, in Texas. But to, to be, believe it or not, OU, I was the last. There was a kicker offered before I was to OU. And it's just, they were just sleeping on us, man. Like even my boy Moses Madu a year before, they waited forever to offer him. And then they did the same thing with me. So what happened during my recruiting process is work a little harder. Did you feel man? I was actually system? about to start playing. I was like the fourth receiver, man. I was about to get reps. I remember coming out here like juking these dudes, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dang, this they didn't, good. they didn't offer me. And I'm like, is this it? Like I'm not gonna lie, like is this it? Like, this and then I got into some trouble right before the first game. Uh, I was gonna get rotation there. Ryan got suspended got my trouble. first year. I got suspended my first year, and then um. I was the on, whole first year? Yeah, the whole year, and I was on um, practice squad the whole time, or scout team. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that was good for me, man, because like it, it was, it humbled me. Like obviously, like I said, like growing up, like I, what's that? That stadium, just playing in there. Is it oh like yeah, man, just so much energy, man. It's just, but you know, when you're out on the field, you don't hear, you don't hear anything. Right. Like, Still, even just, in there. And you when you're on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> but, hey, is this it? So like my first game out, I balled. Second game, you know, I caught like this slant, like on like I don't know, it was like the first quarter, like spun off like two dudes, ran like 80 yards, and I'm like, yo, this is my second game in college. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm like, what? And then like the fire. next game, a punt return, I'm like, fire, this is it, household. Yeah, it was household. wild, man. Oh, it was wow. wild. And then after that, it was like, get up, trainers come out, and I'm like, I'm walking, I feel my knee buckle back, just like bang. Bang, bang, and I'm like, nah, I'm good, man. I'm good. You know what right. I mean? Then I get up on the table and like, like, dude, checking my knee. Then he leans over and whispers in my ear, like, Ryan, you tore your ACL, and then I still just like broke down. Okay, cool. Like, all right, I must have done something right. And then For my sure. name gets called, you know, during the draft in the second round. That thing, and I literally went home. I tell this story all the time. I literally went home, and I can just see myself sitting at the table, looking out the back window, and I get my laptop out, the first laptop I really ever had. I'm like, all right, and I type in Google, literally. What do rich people do with their money? It was that simple. People have, I'm, and so I'm like really thinking like, okay, I grew up in Norman, Oklahoma. I had friends, their parents had nice cars, they had nice houses. And I'm like, dang, that's what they were doing. They knew. They knew, but I didn't know they knew until I picked up the book. Yeah. And I'm like, dang, this is the principles that they were living by. That's it. That would be my, my first challenge for anybody is like, hey, like you're not an Uncle Tom because you put on a suit to go. Right. You know what I mean? That's, and that's taboo in our world. Like, right, it is you though. You learned it. You learned yeah, like how to put, dress up, do, bro, do what you and go do, talk bro. to somebody that, you know what I mean? And it don't make you any less black. It right. doesn't. Not yeah, really for sure. Though. That's been the thing. <laughs> Life. 
tried to drown me This hoop is like my life jacket This ice in my veins is something titanic Lockdown defense kept me out the center for detention Divine intervention passes over to my center Alleyways are the alley-oops some got no looks and passed away when somebody shoot Back in court duo but nobody hoops The wrists follow through when the cuffs got a loop Pick a book or pick the and get book It's just you and I out running suicides Me, I was out running suicide Boy, I'm going in, dropping gems that I picked up in these gems I can't slack, I've been down and back I'm just trying to share a few tales from this thing called life Count my assists, man, I swear that basketball really saved my life Yeah, uh, yeah I swear it saved my life, let's go